ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದೂರ್ಣಾಪೂರ್ಣಮುದ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ವಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಕೃತೌ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನಿ ವ್ಯೋಮ ವದ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಯೇಹೋ ಅಹಂ ಪುರುಷೋ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೋ ಅಹಂ ಶೂದ್ರೋ ಅಹಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿ ದೃಢ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ತಹಂ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ನ ಶೂದ್ರ ನ ಪುರುಷ ಕಿಂತು ಅಸಂಗಸ್ಚಿದಾನಂದಸ್ವರೂಪ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ರೂಪ ಚರವಾಂತಯಾಮಿ ಚಿದಾಕಾಶರೂಪೋ ಅಹಂ ಅಸ್ಮಿತಿ ದೃಢ ನಿಶ್ಚಯ ರೂಪ ಅಪರೋಕ್ಷ ಜ್ಞಾನ್ವಾನ್ ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಏಜ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಫರ್ಮ ಬಿಲೀಫ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಮೈನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶುದ್ರ ಸೋ ಆಲ್ಸೋ I am not Brahman, I am not Sudra, I am not man, and I am unattached of the nature Satchidaranda, effulgent, the indeler of all, the formless awareness. Thus, when having this firmly aparokshagyan, immediate knowledge, is the ಜೀವನ್ ಮುಕ್ತ ಇನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೇಷನ್ we discussed about the fruit of knowledge last meeting we were talking about fruit of knowledge knowledge of consciousness knowledge of yourself no objective knowledge so direct fruit of the knowledge the direct fruit of the self realization is liberation salvation completely completely liberation no any bondage so what are primary bondage there are so many so many so many bondages in our lives what what are what are primary basic foundational bondage they are only two first is subtle body and another is gross body then all other bondage comes later like i am human being as we chant this mantra 
first two boundaries, primarily foundational, there are only two boundaries, subtle body and gross body, then all boundaries comes later. Like this mantra, yatha deho ham, purusho ham, I am the man. I am the Brahman, I am the Sudra. So these boundaries comes later. But self-realized person still are is with body. He is living with body. How do, we, how do we know? Very basic question. How do we know this person is self-realized? Or this person is not self-realized? Arjuna asked Lord Sri Krishna in Bhagavad Gita, second chapter, Sthita Pragyasika Bhasa, he also wanted to know who is the self-realized. And everyone wants to know who is self-realized. But there is no any direct answer. No one can understand this person is self-realized. Only liberate person, he can understand I am liberated. His liberation, he can experience no other person. When self-realized person is in body, in the world, as a common man, that time, as we discussed last session, self-realization, the knowledge of the self-realization gives two kinds of truth. One is direct, it is salvation, moksha, liberation, nirvan. Another is as I told you, by product. By product is like freedom, fullness, equanimity in the mind. We already discussed. Now, come to the next point. The self-realized person, Jeevan Mukta, he is living as ordinary life as the other person lives. But he, he has been dropped his causal body. Causal body means avidya ignorance. So self-realized person's causal body has been dropped. No ignorance. There are only two bodies. One is subtle body, another is gross body. But in one word, the life of the self realization persons, we ask him so many questions. If someone is real, Self-realized, he feels hunger, he feels emotions, is he angry, any emotion he feels or not. Scripture says, because where is the hunger? 
have already studied tattva bodha you can understand easily the fact the question where is hunger hunger is not in consciousness hunger is in life forces in panch prana where is thirst thirst is also not in consciousness not in me it is in prana prana requires food because prana work so prana require food water so hunger appears in prana thirst appears in prana and emotions we are emotion hunger comes in prana but where are the emotions jealous greediness where are they they are in the mind doubt decision judging these kinds all experiences are in the mind they comes in the mind and go all thoughts will come we are in mind it should be very clear after study the tattva bodha it should be very clear any emotion any thought arises is it only in mind level and one more question we always think if someone is self realized can he think a bad thought also can bad thoughts thoughts also can come their minds scripture say because our thoughts are influenced by guna sat parajatam our thoughts are influenced by guna it does not have any connection with soul yourself so thoughts come any any such thought can come and go but these thoughts will not leave their impressions in self realized self realized person's mind so mind is working life sources are working and even the body also working every every body is working organs are working mind is also working they do their job the by products of the knowledge it helps the self realized person he is fully aware always fully aware what is happening this function is in the mind this function is in the prana this function is the body he is fully aware what is going on he knows everything because he is not involved he know i am not doer i am not going to do anything i am witnessing thoughts are coming and going thoughts are coming and going thoughts are coming in my mind and passes through thoughts are coming in mind not in me 
I'm just watching. They may be good thoughts. They may be bad thoughts. But these thoughts will not affect me. Any action, any thought, any situation, he is unattached, unattached. quiet, calm, undisturbed. Because of byproduct of knowledge, he enjoys everything. There are so many examples in the scriptures about self-realization person. The life becomes enjoyment. All for a jnani, the life is a struggle. For us, life is a struggle. We are struggling every time, every moment. We are struggling. Sometimes for object, sometimes in a relation, so many things. We are always busy in struggling. So our life is as a struggle, not a peace. But the self-realized person who is living with the body, the difference is life is enjoyment. Their, their happiness is unconditional. Ajnani, happiness is condition. Sometimes he achieved something, he become happy. He got something, any relation, any possession, he becomes happy. So this happiness is conditional. But the self-realized person's happiness is unconditional. For the self-realized person, anything is not problem. King Janka was a king. He had a big kingdom. The kingdom was not problem for him. He had he had a big kingdom. There must be some problems, but there is no problem for them, for Janaka. And on the other hand, there was Ashtavakra. He had, he had nothing. Janaka had everything. But Ashtavakra had nothing, zero. In bodily level, they are very different. Very different. Janka was king, Ashtavakra was bigger. But nothingness is not problem for Ashtavakra. And everything is not problem for Janaka. Outer situations are very different for both. They both should have problems in their lives, but they don't, but they didn't have. So kingdom is not problem. Nothingness is not problem. Problem is ignorance. So outer situation are very different, but in a deep down, they are enjoying same way, same quality happiness. Inner side, the happiness, quality of happiness within Ashtavakra, same quality happiness feels then also.
this is a by product of the knowledge any object any object cannot disturb their peace their happiness their calmness normally what happens who do have objects they are also not happy and who don't have they are also not happy relaxed person the self relaxed person does not think about object he always with self centered any object in kingdom or a small thing has no such power to disturb the self relaxed person peace calmness this life is so beautiful it they, this may be in stavakra shukdev janak krishna in any level this life is so beautiful such person should live long and i think god always wanted such life for everyone for everyone that is why god has created the world but we disappointed god for us what is more more important you are object we always say yes for object so self relaxed person as i told you because of by product of knowledge his life becomes very beautiful he enjoy the life always So Sankara Chari says here, Agyani, the ignorant person, has formed norms that I am Anishya, I am human being. If I am human being, then I have so many responsibilities. If I am Brahman, then we have so many responsibility if i am sanyasi i am grahastha then we have responsible for such acting after self realization he says i am no human being he turns immediately opposite before some time he was saying i am manushya i am human being and after realization he says no i am not human being i am not brahman i am not shudra then what you are then what you are so sankara chari says here asangaha i am asanga and attached and attached I am Satchidananda, Absolute Sat, Absolute Truth, Absolute, absolute Consciousness, Bliss, Prakasas Sarupa. So here, I am unattached. This is the experience of a self-realized, self-realized person. I am unattached. In Jivan Mukta, in this state, 
while he is living there is a body gross body and subtle body both bodies are working but these bodies are not problem for self realized person because he says i am not attached the problem becomes start when we attached problem is not body is not problem problem is attachment identification attachment here identification i am this i am manushya i am human being so this identification i am human being i am the body i am brahman i am sanyasi i am grasta this identification becomes a problem the self realized person experiences i am unattached body is working as you know we cut our nails and here we cut our nails here and after cutting we are not attached the particular nail and free from that so self realized person he is in living with body gross body subtle body these bodies will not make any difference and when the body dropped half a self realized person's body drops we call it brahmalin brahmalin our nirvana we give the name brahmalin there is there are two words one is brahmanist another is brahmalin brahmalin means who merges with brahman like a river river go in goes into sea or stream and merges same the self realized person when drop the body and merged into the supreme consciousness we huge word brahmalin before salvation there was a little obstacle as a body now body also dropped so no there gross body there is no subtle body and when the brahma jani the self realized person leaves this body that time it looks very common incident very common incident like an other man's death but this is not only death deep down there are going so big changes when a common common man a ignorant man dies do you know what happens nothing just gross body dropped and after some time he takes another gross body but when gyani a self realized person leaves the body there are being so many changes what kind because subtle body and causal body and gross body 
ignorant person lives only crossword but this self reliant person because of he dropped his causal body do you know what causal body 17 element so because, because without causal body the effect of the causal body is subtle body if there is no causal body then no subtle body then no subtle body then no gross body this is videha mukti now the mantra प्रकाश स्वरूप अंतर्यामी चिराकाशरूपो अहमस्मी दृढ़ अपरोक्ष ज्ञान जीवन मुक्ता सो दिस स्टेट इज जीवन मुक्ता जीवन मुक्ता हिज लिविंग हिज लिविंग लाइफ अ कॉमन मैन नो वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड ही इज सेल्फ रिलाइज पर्सन वेरी कॉमनली हिज लिविंग जीवन मुक्ता नेक्स्ट वन ब्रह्म अहम अस्मी अपरोक्ष ज्ञान निखिल कर्म बंधा विनर्मुक्त सैन ब्रह्म अहम अस्मी अपरोक्ष ज्ञान निखिल कर्म बंधा विनर्मुक्त सैन वेपन बैद इमीडिएट नॉलेज वाट नॉलेज i am brahman one becomes free bondage of all the karmas i repeat the translation again brahmaiv aham asmi ti aparoksha gyanena by the immediate knowledge that knowledge is i i am brahman aham brahma asmi one becomes free bondage of all karmas so first comes jeevan mukta as we discussed knowledge gives fruit immediately immediately action takes time but knowledge gives immediately when a person self realizes in this life he becomes jeevan mukta and when the body drops aham brahmaiva aham asmi thi because of because of the immediate knowledge self realization he becomes free from all bondage of the karma so as we thought before the basic bond bondage is two subtle body and causal body subtle body gross body this realize self realized person time of death leaves gross body and immediately our scripture says now he has nothing to rebirth he has nothing to rebirth because he has lost everything his causal body gone had had gone because he is now self realized so ignorance gone there no ignorance then no subtle body and gross body now died so everything finished nothing remains everything finished so there is a no reason to rebirth there is a no cost for world he liberated our example 
our scriptures scripture we cannot see the deep down into action we are not able to see but our scriptures can understand the nature of the action veda vihito dharma so our scripture says that what is good karma good action what is bad action only scripture can decide only scripture has right to take a decision which actions are good and not good when we do a karma action in vedanta study you know doership when we do our work action with doership i am doer i am doing then action starts when we decide i am doer i am doing then action starts if you don't have that this thought i am doer then there is no action i will discuss in this topic topic very important so action start with this thought i am the doer i am doing then action and it this action will produce its result if action is good the results are so good if action is not good according to scriptures then the results will not come good the results are two types one results are visible drist we can see and other is invisible the results of the action we cannot see it will come in future it will remain with us as a sin or merit so there are some actions those who are good some are bad and the results are also two types visible and invisible you work for a company for a month they pay for you for a month this is visible you did action and got this result so there are some visible results and some invisible results who is what action is good and what is not good the only scriptures can take decision but sometimes there are so many actions so many deeds scriptures did not say anything what about them there are so many actions so many deeds scriptures did not say a single word then how can we decide is it good or bad here your your intention intention is good then action is good if intention is not good then the result is also not good so this topic is continue the next topic next lecture today's enough om purnamadah purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva vasisyate om shanti 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 shankaram shankaracharyam keshavam vadarayanam sutra bhashya kritau bande bhagavantau puna puna ishvaro gururatmiti murti bheda vibhagine vyoma vad vyapta dehaya dakshina murtaye namaha